Okay, today's video is going to be on the clinch knot. Now the clinch knot is going to be your go-to knot when you're out there surf fishing. That's the knot you're going to use when you're tying your shock leader to your barrel swivel on your uh, pompano rigs. You know, it's also uh, a knot that you're going to use, you know, let's say for some reason you get a big blue and it straightens out one of your hooks and you can't bend it back and you cut it off and you want to tie a hook back out there uh, on the surf. You know, that's going to be your knot you're going to use and it's, it's, it's a great knot, it's an easy knot, but when you're surf fishing, there's a few things to remember that are going to make it uh, a better knot and it's going to be a tighter knot. You know, first of all, a lot of times uh, I'm dealing with a 50 pound test mono for a shock leader. So, you know, anytime you have something that's that big, it's going to have a large diameter. And anytime you have a large diameter, you're going to end up with a lousy knot uh, unless you put an awful lot of pressure on it. So uh, what you want to do is usually with the case of the clinch knot, you're going to go less twists. You know, you'll see other knots out there and they'll tell you to go five twists. Well, that's all fine and good if you're dealing, uh, you know, with 14 pound bass uh, fishing line or something like that. But, you know, we're dealing with surf fishing. So we're dealing with some pretty heavy pound tests here, not only for the uh, rigs, but also especially the shock leader. So let's get started here and we'll show you how easy this knot is. First thing you're going to do in this case, I'm using a barrel swivel. It's going to be the same thing whether you got a hook or not, but go ahead and run your line through and give yourself enough, you know, give yourself at least a, a four or five inch tag, okay, maybe four inches that is, okay, and we don't want our barrel swivel to swivel in this case, so I'm going to hold it still, all right, and then we're going to go, uh, in the case of a 50 pound test, you don't want to go any more than three turns, so let's go ahead and go one, two, and three, and that's all you need, you know, and I'm telling you this from experience. I've pulled in some big, hefty, three, four pound bluefish and some big two, three pound pompano, and, and the knot never fails, you know. It, it might break if uh, it's got a nick in it, and you got to check your shock leaders every day for nicks and replace them if you have a nick, but uh, so we got three twists, and now we're just going to take our tag end, we're going to put it through the loop, all right, and now we're going to give it a little bit of a, a pull here, but we don't want to go all the way because uh, without lubricating that knot, it'll be weak. So let's lubricate that knot. Now, when I'm tying rigs uh, on the beach, I don't pull out pliers or anything. I just grab it and I cinch it up, okay, and that's it. That's, that's the knot you're going to get. And obviously you got to trim it up. I always carry nail clippers. They work better for me than trying to use pliers or whatever. Sometimes if I'm making rigs, I'll, I'll use this lanyard and put it around my neck. But And that's it. There, There's your knot there. And it's up to you how short you want that tag end to be. Uh, I like leaving a little bit. Uh, but anyways, that, that's all you're going to need for that shock leader. Now, when I'm making a lot of rigs, uh, I don't want to uh, worry about my, my knots being weak. So usually my little trick is uh, I'll get a small pair of pliers like this. They're easy to handle. And what I do is, is after I tie my knot and I lubricate it, I'll, I'll grab the end of that barrel swivel with pliers and then I'll give it a yank. And now I know it's a real good tight knot. Same thing with the... Uh, you know, doing hooks. When you're doing hooks, it's a lot safer. Let's uh, let's cut this line off and show you another example. Let's get rid of this rig. Let's say you you know you're some people when they make their their pompano rigs. Like when I make my pompano rigs, uh, I'm a little bit different than Chris Gallagher. Uh, I cut my loops and then I run uh, the line through and uh, tie off my rigs and put on my beads and my floats. Uh, some people like to use the loop. I know Chris does and it's very effective. It works well for him. But anyways, when I'm tying rigs, you know, and I like to tie at least six rigs at a time or, or more, uh, I want to make sure all my knots are in good shape. So what I like to do is that same trick with the pliers. 
let's uh, let's go in to our hook, okay, and uh, I'll just hold my tag in. It's a little easier, and let's twist it three times. There's one, two, and three. Now, right now, you see how that loop isn't quite right on that. What I like to do is straighten it out, and uh, before I tie my knot. So, okay, now I'm just going to put my tag end in. I'm going to give it a small tug. All right. And now I'm going to grab my small pliers and I'm going to grab that hook right about there. That way it's not going to bend the hook or damage the hook. And then lubricate it. And then give it a tug. Now you don't have to worry about driving that hook into your hand either. And there you go. You know, you've got a nice clinch knot there. I think for years I called them a cinch knot, but probably because I was using a, a tool called a cinch knot tool tire. It's a, it's a, it's a neat little tool. I got a video on that. You can check it out. It's on the, the cinch tool, but uh, anyways, and there you go. So that for me, when I'm tying a lot of rigs and tying a lot of hooks, uh, I like using the pliers uh, with the barrel swivels and the hooks. And, and that's it. That's how easy that knot is. Now, if for some reason you're you're not a surf fisherman, but you want to use that knot, well, first of all, I wouldn't recommend the clinch knot for uh, braid. I just wouldn't. I'm a, strictly a mono floral fisherman, but uh, don't use it for braid. It's not going to work good for you. But let's say you've, uh, you've got loiter line, and you want to uh, you want to use it, well, the clinch knot needs to be improved a little bit if you're going to do that. And there's another clinch knot out there uh, called the improved clinch knot and that's, uh, that's a knot that you would use if you were using lighter pound test. You know, let's say you're not surf fishing and you're using line that's, uh, oh I don't know, 15 pound, 12 pound, 8 pound test. Well that just the plain old clinch knot may not be the best bet for you there. Uh, it's it's a smaller diameter line, so you're not going to have trouble cinching up. So, with uh, let's go uh, use this barrel swivel as an example again, and um, let's show you the improved clinch knot. You're going to go through. Okay, same thing. You're going to hold that so it doesn't spin on you. This could be a you know, a surface lure or whatever, but uh, you, you go through there. Now, in this case, you know, we got lighter lines, so we can go more twists. Two, three, four. All right, you know, and if you're using eight pound test, you can easily go five. So, but here's our original loop right there on my uh, left thumb. What we're going to do with the improved clinch knot is we're going to run that through just like the clinch knot, but now we just created a loop. And with the improved clinch knot, what you're going to do is you're going to run that leader, that tag end, right through that knot, that uh, loop you just created. And then you're going to tighten it up a little bit. Now let's lubricate it. That's important, especially with a lighter pound test. Okay, and now you're going to give it a tug. And that's it. That is your improved clinch knot for lighter pound tests, maybe freshwater fishing, or you're just, uh, I don't know, fishing over the side on a pier or whatever. But that's that's better where you're not using a shock leader and uh, you, you want a stronger knot. And that is your improved clinch knot. And that's it. You know, uh, uh, I think I've showed the clinch knot before when you watch my uh, videos on using the Gen 3 jig for tying your pompano rigs but uh, I wanted a dedicated video for that in case somebody's searching for those keywords and and that'll do it you know if uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our pompano brownie channel and that'll do it for this video